But anyway, I'm watching Rivian here, another stock getting slammed, right? As longtime bull Alexander Potter of Piper Sandler downgraded the stock to neutral, slashed his price target at 15 bucks from 63. The concern here being Rivian's cash crunch. Potter sees a $4 billion capital raise in the cards at some point in the next year or two, with investors not wanting to foot the bill there. Now, Potter still believes in the long-term vertical integration strategy. The company just he sees the benefits of that coming from years from now. But as of right now, really, I mean, the company, Good tech, good IP, a very interesting long-term strategy of really building everything in-house, but right now, the costs are just too much, and potentially, maybe down the line, they'll get those scale benefits. I mean, it's one of those things, you keep waiting for Rivian to, to finally hit its yeah. stride, first with some of the production delays. It, it doesn't seem to quite get there. And we know that last week, the Chief Financial Officer, Claire Rua McDonough, she said that Rivian is on track to be profitable by the second half of 2024. And that was when she was speaking last week at the Bank of America Security Summit. But I mean, you have to wonder when this turnaround picture is actually going to kick in. Now, obviously, we remember when it took a while for Tesla to become profitable, but this is a very different story. Rivian is, is definitely not in that, in that same uh, conversation with Tesla, still waiting for it to pick up and really not seeing that now and seeing the stock price punished for it, as you were saying there, Price. Yeah, it's interesting I'm because... I'm going to shift gears. Just going to say oh, quickly, ahead, the Dave. reviews have been spectacular. Uh, people love these cars. They love the driving experience, but... To Proz's initial point, the cap raise is going to be difficult, if not impossible. We were talking to Dan Ives about this a quarter ago, and he said this is a company that have a hard time raising any money, let alone $4 billion additional to prove long-term growth after 25. Ah, boy, I, I, it doesn't look good, but uh, it is a tremendous car. People love them, Rochelle. It's true. I, I see them all over DC and Maryland, yeah, so people, people are same. definitely buying them, but ju just try to get over that first hurdle.